Angelica in the cold cell. Angelica lay on the thin, sagging mattress of her bunk in a small California jail cell, staring at the cracked ceiling. It had been days since she arrived, but no one knew who she really was. The guards had only the name she gave them, Maria Alvarez. She knew the stakes. If they found out her true identity, a traffic survivor with knowledge about high-ranking officials, she'd be silenced. She kept her mouth shut, playing the role of an ordinary detainee. But that didn't make her situation easier. The food they served in this place was unlike anything she had ever seen before. Bland beige meals made from a strange soy blend. Everything was synthetic. Plant-based sausages, lentil patties, and something that vaguely resembled cheese, but tasted like wet cardboard. They called it an eco-friendly diet, one designed to reduce the jail's environmental impact. Angelica had overheard guards bragging about the jail's net zero emissions, but all it did was leave her constantly hungry and weak. It's for the planet, the guard named Rodriguez had sneered once, handing her a tray. No meat, no gas emissions. Be grateful. Angelica wasn't grateful. The food sapped her energy and her stomach growled through the night. But what unnerved her more than the food was the cold. There was no heating in the jail, just as there was no air conditioning in the sweltering summer months. California law had mandated sustainable detention facilities, meaning they had stripped out climate control systems to cut emissions and save costs. Now, in late October, the temperature dropped sharply at night. The thin blanket on her bunk offered no protection from the cold that seeped through the concrete walls. Angelica wore her jumpsuit with every layer she could scavenge, socks stuffed with tissue paper, and even a second shirt she had bartered for, but it wasn't enough. Her hands were stiff, and her breath misted in the air. Prison ain't supposed to be comfortable, one inmate, Tasha, had told her during yard time, blowing on her hands to keep them warm. California says it's all eco-conscious, but it's just another excuse to let us freeze. Angelica knew Tasha was right. The cold gnawed at her bones and made sleep a fleeting thing. Nights were the worst. The absence of heat made every hour crawl. Sometimes, Angelica heard women weeping in their bunks or shuffling around restlessly. On a few nights, she thought she saw one of the older women shivering so violently that she wouldn't make it till morning. But Angelica couldn't afford to get sick. Not here, not now. She clenched her jaw, reminding herself that she had survived worse. She had been trafficked across borders, used, beaten, and discarded by those who profited from her misery. This jail was just another battle, another layer of hardship she had to endure. Still, every passing day chipped away at her. Hunger gnawed at her belly. The cold left her brittle. She watched the guards patrol the halls, indifferent to the shivering women in the cells. No one cared if they suffered, so long as the facility stayed under budget and green. Angelica kept to herself. She had to. Any wrong step could expose her. She had powerful enemies on the outside, people who wouldn't hesitate to make her disappear if they knew she was alive and locked in this place. In the dim hours before dawn, she lay awake, staring at the iron bars of her cell, the only things between her and an unknown future. A plan began to take shape in her mind. She couldn't stay here, not with the cold closing in, not with the plant-based sludge weakening her body. If she didn't act soon, she'd either freeze to death or waste away before she ever saw freedom again. The time would come. All she needed was an opportunity, a chance to disappear once more, to slip away unnoticed like a shadow. Angelica knew how to survive, she just had to outlast this frigid nightmare long enough to escape. For now, all she could do was endure. She pulled the thin blanket tighter around her body, pressing her freezing hands against her chest, and whispered to herself in Spanish, Un día más y salgo de aquí. One more day and I get out of here. And she meant it. 